This is Damon Stevens, Thin Wealth Builders. Today is Sunday, November 28, 2021, and we're wrapping up the month here. Uh, and uh, what a surprise. So um, Thursday, you know, it said, uh, hopefully you had a good Thanksgiving, but it said, hold on to your hats. And Friday, uh, hopefully you did, because uh, they would have probably flown off as we dropped uh, in the market. Um, and a lot of that was, uh, you know, some people said it was had to do with the uh, you know, the Fed, some people said it was uh, the virus, but, you know, looking at the stock movement, I definitely think the virus had some effect because I noticed that our uh, BTNX, our Moderna and NVAC stocks um, jumped up there. So we'll take a look at it and just at the charts and kind of see what's going on and see if we can figure out what's going to happen for this week. Are you going to be up, down or uh, sideways? So let's take a look. So looking at the closeout for the week, you can see here the Dow Jones was down. Uh, 2.53%, NASDAQ down 2.23%, and S&P 500 down 2.27%. So quite a drop. I mean, that's uh, quite a drop in one day. And you can see here on from our heat map that it's just uh, all red, you know, pretty much. You know, there's a few here in healthcare, but overall, markets were definitely down, definitely red across the board. Uh, looking at our scanner, you can see, you know, even though even though the market's down, the one thing that's great about the scanners, you can always use a scanner to find, uh, you know, opportunities in the day if you're looking for something for longs and you're not wanting to go short, or maybe you can't even do short if you're on a smaller account. Uh, but uh, here's what we have: ISPC, IHPI, and BFRI. So let's take a look at a few of these charts here and see what we can see. Now, ISPC was a multi-day trade, and you can see here on our trend line uh, that. Uh, you know, it's come back and forth and it's tagged and actually broke above the trend line uh, here, back here in, uh, on the 23rd, came down. And you see here, you know, on the end of the week, we rallied back up, tagged 24.67, and then we pulled back here. And now we're kind of settling here right around the 20 moving average. So we're going to see if we have this continuation here or we can kind of continue to play this up as we go on this trend line. Uh, if it does not, uh, if it does start to break below the 20 and the 50 here at $18, uh, just be careful because it could be that we kind of burn this one out here. But so far, ISPC has continued to, to perform for us. Uh, so watching that one on our short list, I, I, AHPI, it was also a multi-day trade. You see here, our uh, support line here, our resistance lines here. You can see rallied back up again to $10 from this 548. Uh, and pull back and just kind of been chopping here along uh, the 50 moving average. So we'll see if we can pull up here and run. You can see that we try to run here again. We have a lower high being put in here. So that typically means that we possibly could have a wedge here, as you can see uh, across the board. So there could be a wedge that we're putting in here as well. We could break up or break down. If we break the 50 at $8, just be careful. It could be done. We can rally back up here get above this 982, we could rally up here to, again to, uh, to new highs. So just watching that on the chart as well. BFRI, uh, you see here $2 is kind of where we're at. Rallied up here onto our resistance line at 736, pulled back, rallied back up almost to back up to our, our trend line here uh, at 949. And we pulled back and we're right on this 20. So as long as we don't break the 20, if we break the 20 here, Around this uh, $8 mark, we could be coming down to $7 here at the 50. Uh, and if we break below that, then just be careful. Um, but just watching this for continuation point as well this week, see if we can get uh, more out of BFRI. Uh, looking at uh, LGVN, this has been a multi-day trade here. First rally was 23, next rally at 35, next rally 45. Uh, and then we had a little bit of a lower high here at 43.81 on our trend line, but we are tagging that trend line. so. On the way up, we've been tagging it. But now we're kind of flat and kind of actually, I, I don't like that these are curving down. It broke below the 50 and the 20 now. So could be that this is done deal. Also, you see here that uh, on this wedge here that we've broken down below that. So we're actually outside our trend lines as well. So if we stay above 27.25, might be able to get more out of this, but LGBN, it's been great for us for several days. Uh, see if the, we may or may not have this on our list uh, throughout the rest of this next week. So something to watch for. Got to get we got to get back here above this 36 and ideally above 4080 to start rallying back up to new higher highs. 
Apple. Uh, you can see here we tagged at 336 here back in April, 149 in July, 157. Uh, second, 157 here in September. And then we rallied back up towards that, which, you know, 170 was the goal. Um, and then we kind of failed at this 165.70. We've pulled back now uh, to 156.88. You know, do we continuation down here back to our support line at 153 here? Uh, and bounce off of this, or you know, is there going to be continued uh, weakness to market? So uh, we're right here. Um, let me go ahead and put a line in here so you can see this. 157.03 was this last uh, tag on the line. If you come across here, that's where we're sitting right now, about 156.88. So we're sitting right here on this line. This should be support for us. If we can break up here, now that's the thing tomorrow. We need to see if this was a, a knee-jerk reaction and a drop. And, uh, and then, uh, you know, we go back and fill the gaps and, and rally back up, uh, or do we get continued uh, bad news and continue to see downtrends? So we're going to see if this breaks up uh, past this 157. If it does, that's a good sign. If we break below this 157, now we're coming back to 153. Break that, then we come down to this 149, 150 range here, which is our last um, tag on this, uh, on this uh, trend line. So just uh, something to watch for as far as levels. A BNTX, you see here, we tagged back here in February 120 and we got up to 464. What a climb for the year. Holy cow. Just great. Um, but you see that we've kind of pulled down back down here uh, and we're three, we've kind of put in higher lows. And so you see here that we kind of just kind of been trending down. So we're looking at, it looks like it's trying to break out. I mean, we gapped up on Friday just because of the news. So Gap back up here, spiked up close to, to uh, this level here, 375, uh, and then pull back here to 348. So we'll see, you know, do we come back and fill this gap down this 304 range and then pop back up again? Um, is this a one-time thing? Or do we get above this 375 and start to rally back up? So watching the BNTX for, you know, good news. And, and if there are shutdowns and other war rumors that come out, could be that gives us some additional opportunities to rally back up here you know, back towards these highs, because we're, you know, down quite a bit from the highs at this point. Um, Moderna, same thing, same story, gap up, got past, you know, this uh, resistance line here, almost to this next resistance line here at 359. If we can break above that, we can start to rally back up towards highs. Uh, or if we don't, and this is just kind of a, a knee-jerk reaction, we may fall back here to 300 range, or possibly down to the 200 here, done it. 180 or 280. So looking for, you know, what, what the, uh, the narrative is going to be on Monday morning um, as we uh, see what the market's going to do and also how the world's doing overall and their reaction uh, to COVID and finances and, and so forth. Uh, NVAX, NVAX gapped up as well. You see here that we uh, tagged our line here at 27780. We pull back to low it down here, these trend lines down to 221. Uh, 121 here and we're right back up here. So um, quite a quite a change here. And we're sitting right in the middle. So that's the other thing with these. When we're mid-range, uh, it's very dangerous. Um, if not locked in profits or to go all in would be a bit of a high risk because you know you have basically your 50% chance of, of make it breaking out towards the highs or to back to the lows. So just be careful out there. No, as long as we stay above this trend line here, above all the moving averages, we could possibly rally back up here. But uh, Invax, so far looking good. NVIDIA, uh, we just kind of been chopping back and forth up here um, after making a new high. So, you know, are we done? Are we going to pull back down? It's hard to say. Uh, but, uh, you know, NVIDIA continues to be a strong company. Um, they have a good forecast and outlook. Uh, you know, we are above our trend lines. We did break out way above that. So just come back here and try to get down and uh, bounce off this 20 at some point. It's possible. But, you know, for now, I mean, we're bullish and just watching NVIDIA for, uh, you know, future moves here. Tesla, you can see here, uh, 12, 1201.95, we hit up here. We pull back down here to this, you know, close to 1062. Uh, and you see here that uh, we're down at this 1081. So when we kind of just been kind of bouncing off of this. So do we hold here and bounce back and rally back up? Uh, or where we headed um, right now, uh, we're below that 200 on this uh, short-term time frame on 30 minutes so chart. So 
That doesn't look good. Looks for, you know, Tesla could possibly come down here or could chop along. Uh, if you look uh, on a different chart, time frame, maybe on the, uh, the daily here, just to show you, um, this could be a wedge too. As you can see here, lower highs up here, higher, higher lows. So this could be a wedge and we could be breaking out. So just on a different time frame, you can see that Tesla's kind of, you know, right now it's looking pretty bearish, but uh, you know, it could easily, you know, bounce out and rally back up here. But right now it is looking weak with the rest of the market. Amazon was rallying back up uh, and then just pulled back down, uh, you know. And uh, so right now we're sitting here around 3,500. That's really a good support resistance level for us. You can see 3550 is really kind of where I expected we were gonna possibly settle and bounce on Friday. Uh, we broke below that a little bit, which makes me a little bit nervous. That we could possibly come down here and tag 3300 uh, or may, maybe or even our support line here, uh, around here around 3250. So uh, you see here that found support here before on our trend line. Um, you know, could we come back down here? It's, it's possible. We could also bounce off of here if it's, uh, you know, and get back up into this range. So we'll just watch it on Amazon. Amazon's another one on our list uh, to watch. But looking at other, is looking at the government, the bonds. So bonds pull way back. So it's interesting to see the bonds pull back and then everything else pull back as well. So we've got to keep an eye on that um, because that's where, you know, when we got past 1.6, that's where where you know things started to uh, to reverse, and all of a sudden we bounced down here on uh, across the board on everything. Uh, that's not uh, not helpful, not helpful in helping to get a clear sign. Even the dollar dollar pulled back as well. Uh, so the spy pull back down here towards the fifty. We hopefully find support here. Uh, if we don't find support here um, on the fifty, you know we do have the support uh, four fifty two sixty, kind of where we're at before. So this should provide good support. If not, then you know, be careful and we could be coming back down here to our trend line. Triple Qs, pull below the 20 as well. Um, so uh, you can see here, we should have support here around 382, 35. You know, worst case scenario off the 50. So we'll see if that holds. Semiconductors pulling back to the 20. So hopefully we'll find support here at 290, 297 and can bounce off of that. Dow Jones really pull back, holy cow. And this was a, a huge drop. So I, hopefully this is an emotional drop. Uh, but you see here, uh, we came from uh, all the way back down to our, our trend, lower trend line. Uh, so we found support before 335.22. We're down here, sitting here at uh, you know 347. Hope we can bounce off here and start to rally back up. We break below here, the 200 is next 337. So, uh, and we should find support there. Um, if we don't, uh, you know, things are looking really ugly. So we just got to keep an eye on it. Watch what the price action is. Hope we can bounce off of here. Hopefully it was just a, you know, a, a, a more of an emotional reaction and we can rally back up. Same with IWM. Really pulled back strong on Friday, right between the 100 and 200 moving average. So hopefully we can su find support. Worst case scenario off of 218 and bounce off that. So just something to keep an eye on that. But even though, um, you know, Russell 2000, the uh, small caps are, are down. You can always find opportunities in small caps. Uh, so just uh, keep an eye on that scanner. Financials pulled down, tagged our, uh, the 100 and just below our trend line. So we'll see if we can bounce off that. Uh, it did provide support in the past. So we'll see if we can hold and bounce back up from here. Gold consolidating down here on a weakness. She cannot get that thing to, to, to stay up there. Um, just continues to, to try to bounce up and then falls back down again. 23 again on silver, trying to bounce off of there from support. Bitcoin's trying to rally off, off the support line. You know, this 53, uh, you know, 53.5 range. It's above the 100 right now. So hopefully we can rally up here and see. You see this could be like a wedge right here. Uh, descending wedge where this could possibly rally back up here, but it's got to get above this 56,000 and hold. Ideally above our, uh, you know, this breakdown candle would be ideal. Uh, so that's 58, around 58. So if we can get above there and our moving averages, 
we could see you know Bitcoin rally into the end of the year. Um, Galax, um, Galax is another one that I was trading on. This is another crypto coin. Uh, so we're just trying to take advantage of this. We did pull back here uh, and uh, we, we can just, we found support on the 100. So see if we can just rally back off this. Uh, right now it's above all the moving averages, just seeing what we can get more out of uh, this. But uh, this is kind of a, you know, this is an in and out. These are sometimes even day trades, especially over the weekends. Uh, same with Luna. Luna is more of a weekend. You see here that it hit our trend line twice, right? Typically found support off the around the 50 to 100. We did bounce off the 100, rallied back up. We're above all moving averages, rallying back up. So we'll see. So the next goal is to try to at least hit 56 if we can on this. If not, if not, get back up to our upper trend line around 62. So we'll see if uh, if uh, Luna can get that for us. CRO, also a multi-day trade. This one continues, it rallied up to new highs, almost a dollar. Uh, off of our lows where we got in here around 46. Uh, and we see we pull back here, hit our trend line, started to rally back up. So this gave a, you know, a nice little weekend here. Uh, you can see we hit, you know, close to 82, almost to our upper trend line, just tagged it and then not really set up there, but tagged our, our, our wedge here and then pull back down. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this is this is, uh, you know, as we come up here, this is creating what could be a potentially you know, an ascending wedge, and we could pull possibly down here. Ideally, I'd like to see this kind of trend up and then pull up and rally above this uh, dollar level. So we'll watch it, uh, see if we can break out. But right now, it's sitting right here at the bottom. So that makes me a little concerned we could possibly break down to lower uh, lows. So um, watching that one. But uh, CRO has been a great, great multi-day and multi-weekend trade uh, for those who are involved. That's our videos. Uh, that's what we're looking for in the morning, uh, come Monday. And so watch the scanner, watch the price action. Uh, you know, again, uh, you know, I, you know, I just noticed here that I didn't cover the VIX on here. I really do kind of want to go back and, and tag that one. I don't know where my chart went on the VIX, but we'll go ahead and add it in here. Cause I do want you to, to look at this cause this is uh, critical. So we're just gonna take one more minute here uh, just cause I was thinking about it. So the VIX, we hit this spike up here, 28.79, uh, and you, that was back in September. We hit it again, and so that's uh, a little scary. So if we if we maintain this or break above this, uh, we're definitely going to see you know we're going to be definitely in a, in a bull market, a bear market, and we're going to be coming down. We might be coming down hard. So be careful. Please stay up there. If we can pull back down here into low 20s, especially below the 20s. Uh, then this was just a, a buy the dip opportunity and we're going to rally back up and probably see, uh, you know, the year end uh, rally that uh, we anticipated, we, you know, that we've seen uh, in past years. So we're looking at this carefully on the VIX. So I got the VIX always on my charts every day. Uh, so if you see this uh, continue to maintain up here and does not pull back drastically in the morning, uh, pre-market or during the day, uh, just be careful because that means we'll probably have a lot more downside coming. So really paying attention, close attention to this fix in pre-market and also throughout the day uh, as we come to the close of this month and see where we close out the month. Uh, the SPY on a monthly chart, just to cover this real quick, uh, you know, looks weak. We've almost erased everything off this month. So uh, just something to be aware of. And, you know, if it pulls down lower, now we're down in this chart, we may be pulling back uh, even more. So just something to be aware of, be cautious about, make sure you're locking profits in that you want to keep. And uh, know that people are obviously taking profits out as they close out the end of this year. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what November ends on. Uh, hopefully December we get a rally, um, but only time will tell and watching the price action. Everybody have a great night. Have a safe day trading tomorrow. And uh, we'll talk tomorrow night and see how we did and what's next uh, coming up in the week ahead.